He said, here's a nice screen, tell my two front pockets on beach well, cause my money long in that sack, right? The whole set of old man dead wrong, I'ma hit the hoe that he act right. Hold that, mama well, them team go at. Real street nigga, I know where to get it. Keep a lot of people, you ask me where you hold it, tell them keep a pants on, I'm sticking this way, throw that. No hesitation, throw that. Catch it out of the air, I'm picking up where the flow at. Nigga try to rob him, aiming at where you for it. Ask Fly, did he have a strap? And he said, Call up. Man, I'm bought a partner, but sip my goons on the cake, call them off. You're affiliated with niggas that'll rob the robbers. Better hide them Jews when we holler caught you. My sideline hoe got a molly prop. She pop all day and she fuck all night. Real bank boy, nigga, yelling, fuck your life. You can keep playing pussy, get fucked on side. Put the lean on. T100, I ain't got a screen there. You ain't got a flex. If you seen that light, might have side by the brick. Oh, I mean that. Cold red, the crime boss, I'm on. Young gorilla nigga, you can't tame. Salute me or suit me, but ain't. Team 100, dream team, my face. Man, nigga went rapping like me back then, bro. Yeah. <laughs> nigga went rapping like me, bro. Thank you, Miss Take Money Bag. Right. Come on, can we get to motherfucking work? <laughs> like, I'm ready to go. Uh, well, me, I got stuff to do. Me too, twin. Okay, I'm it's channel 85 out. Let's do it. Y'all ready? <coughs> but you, but you ready though? I am ready. I can't tell. You just got out the booth. I ain't get in the booth. Them cameras on their last motherfucking leg, man. It is, but aren't we all okay? My palms are sweaty. It's, it's vomit on the sweater already. Mom <laughs> spaghetti is nervous. Go ahead. All right. Uh, do we have to wait for Sunny or, or? No, we ain't got to wait for nobody, twin. What does she go anyway? Oh. Is my bun okay? Oh, shit. Is my see. bun bunny? Yeah, that motherfucker's some bullshit. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> and I just gave you some free almonds. Appreciate it. I'm sorry. I'll take that back. Be my grateful, because yeah. I didn't have to give you shit. Oh, God. Mm hmm God, because we was going to flip that motherfucker. <laughs> and if you, if I hear you rumbling again. That was, that was Chris for No, real. it wasn't. It wasn't. You had my shit all leaning sideways. You got sideways. that auntie feel. Like, you got that. I have somebody and, auntie. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. That's what's up. Oh, you got siblings? Yeah. How? Long story. Some black shit. But, yeah. It's a couple of test tube babies. It was fucking resident well, evil I at y'all house. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Y'all, your mama cloning I do, niggas. I do have siblings by my dad like that, but the one on my mom, no, it's not like that. So how you got nipples? It's a whole life story. We have to have a, a sit down. It's, it's really it's, simple. You're just making it complicated. So you know how, like, in black families, like, you take care of somebody else's kid like it's yours? Okay, so you're not a real auntie. All right, let's go. Go All ahead. Right, shut the fuck up. <laughs> go ahead. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm ready. <clears throat> okay. Go on and swallow. <laughs> Damn. Damn, son. I ain't gonna swallow to the episode over with. No did <laughs> Oh, to I should have spit that shit the, on the floor. No did it. Oh, that shit gay. Until the camera stopped rolling. That's I should have like, spit it out. No did it. Okay. I was trying to wait for you. All right, I'm ready. Anyways. Welcome back to The Trap. It's Trap News. I'm Bree Renee, straight from the A. And this your boy, Moneybag Mafia, Mr. I don't fuck with niggas. I should wear a swap sticker. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, it's getting hot. Set, Set it out. Well, that's <sighs> controversial. We'll kick it off the show like that. Uh, speaking of controversial, let's just jump right into the politic news. Now, there is, you know, Kamala has been battling this black or her identity whether she's black or Asian or any other race. But I think she confirmed this week that she definitely is black when she announced that she carries a Glock. That makes her black? Yeah, I feel like it don't get no blacker than that. You feel like that? Yeah. Mm, okay. That's the type of girls that, that all black people carry. They be like, let me is get my true? Glock. Well, that's what all the niggas rap that, about. No, that's what the YNs told. <laughs> the, the what? The, the YNs. You know what I mean? No, what's the YN? The young niggas. 
Oh. Uh, well, maybe she fucking with a little young nigga. I don't know. But we do got a clip of her saying it and admitting it. Let's take a listen. So powerful at the convention when you, when, when, when you said you have guns. No, at the debate. At the I'm, debate I'm a gun you, owner. Tim Walls is a gun. I did not know that. <laughs> If somebody and I thought breaks in my house, they're getting shot. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, yes, I, I, I hear that. I hear that. Probably should not have said that. <laughs> but my I, staff will deal with that later. Yeah. Uh, what kind of gun it is? As long as that bitch stolen, <laughs> she forces it though. She tries. She wants that black boat so bad, baby. I think you got it already. Trust me. I think so, and I want her to stop texting me, cause like it's like okay, I'm gonna vote for you, but damn, every day they like, what you did you vote yet? Are you gonna vote? Are you registered? Did you? I, it's okay. You need to call me personally. Call me. Okay. Well, anyways, um, the Supreme Court declines Biden's appeal in Texas for the emergency abortion case. A court order says that hospitals cannot federally be required to provide pregnancy terminations when they violate a Texas abortion ban. And it will, it, when they violate a Texas abortion ban, it will stay for now. The Supreme Court said this on Monday. The decision is another setback for opponents of Texas abortion ban. Because you know how, like, Georgia overruled it? I think they're trying to overrule it in Texas Good. as well. No, for abortion. Oh, no, bad. Yeah, see? <laughs> um, <laughs> the Biden administration argues that a federal law called the Emergency Medical Treatment and Labor Act requires emer emergency rooms to provide the abortions if necessary and needed, even after the time frame that Texas has allowed it. Damn. So he's saying that they should go ahead and go with the procedure. Yes. Just think, like, if something is, like, the, in the case of the young lady who passed away because of... Oh, the shit was still in her? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they're saying that he's trying, Biden is trying to require um, the emergency room to perform these emergency procedures. I thought procedures. he stepped down. From oh, he stepped down running. Okay. Yes, but he's still currently our oh, president. Oh, damn, I thought he was, I thought he opted out. <laughs> you just lose all your privileges. Yeah, right. You don't want to run no more, yeah, so you just got to sit on, this out. Man. Moving on, the U.S. Justice Department, they launched their first federal review of the 1921 Tulsa real estate, um, Tulsa race massacre, I'm sorry. Uh, Assistant Attorney General Kirsten Clark said the department aims to finalize the probe by the end of the year. And you already know that, or if you don't know, the massacre started on May 31st in 1921 when white attackers killed as many as 300 people probably more that was only that was recorded most of them black in Tulsa and in their prosperous Greenwood neighborhood nicknamed Black Wall Street black where Wall Street. yeah we had some very successful Tulsa black entrepreneurs I'm be honest if you go out there we've been a performer out there but I'm like, hey it's still alive yeah. the racism is still yeah, like it's, brewing it's in vibrant. the air yeah well they are still fighting for um by the u.s justice department system which is sad because we almost a hundred years post that oh God. if not yeah we are a hundred years post that and i'm we... voting for people to get their own state bro their own land i'm voting for white people to go where the fuck they need to go where there ain't no black people i i feel like they we should grant them that they don't want to do that i would grant them that they can do that and i feel like black people if we can have a place where it's only black people but we gonna give in we, I was say, Nick, we not gonna get on one accord. Because the ass, too. <laughs> nigga gonna give in for some ass. You one of them niggas. Uh -huh. You one of them for niggas. For a white woman? Yes. Don't you ever try me like that. You Most always... definitely, I will. See? You see? Have a... <laughs> see? <laughs> he you always have a talking about me. white queen, white yeah, queen. Yeah. You the nigga that we can't trust. What you mean? That's, that's gonna no, mean. No, I'm the nigga to sneak off and go do that and come back and, and lie to y'all. Like and then you gonna get that white woman black babies, no, ain't you? No, no, no. I'm no, gonna give you... a... Couple of black babies. Not, not just one baby. I'm gonna give us some babies. <laughs> Look, see, Because anyway. if you think about it, we right by their race if we do it like that. See, but if a white man give you a baby, they don't work like that. That's the white man. That's not true. That's true. No, it's not. You are what your daddy is. I don't think so because when you think about it, you baking in your mama. So you kind of really, you in that kind of oven. Why do you keep going with this baking shit? Because that's who making the baby. No, that's not. Yes, it is. You think. I bet you look like your mama. I look like both my parents. What the hell? <laughs> do see, you? Yeah. Let me see that nigga. I let me see, let me see like, Mahmoud. I, I look like my mama. I just look like a light-skinned version see of Mac my mama. Muhammad. I just like a light-skinned version of my mama. I think you, you are. You do look like your mama, though. I get I it. do. Everybody always said that my whole life. But I think that you are what your mama is. Because that's who raising you. That's who going to teach you wow. shit. That's who going to. Bree hate black men. Can we say that? That's not true. Niggas not Don't raising their babies. Don't say that. The Don't daddy say ain't that. got shit to do with the pregnancy. And I, this is what comes 
from the test tube. I love black you, men. See, you gotta come I out. I love You gotta come men. out that dick from scratch. I love see, you, had, you, you went through a middle man. <laughs> you went through a turkey baster. See, that ain't from scratch. You know what I'm saying? You gotta Thank come you. out. You gotta come out them balls. I first of all. Right into your mom. No. Anyways, regardless, I think you are. Just not not because black men or fathers aren't in their children's lives. They because are. Who I'm told not you I'm that? not saying that. I'm saying that the mother, just generally, even if the father in the home, the mother is going to be doing more of the rearing of the child. No, that's just nurturing. That's being soft. That's that, all that, that is. Okay. Well, either way it goes, I feel like you are what your mama is, because you was inside that coochie longer than you was. You inside was in that, that dick even longer. <laughs> <laughs> what? You, you think about it? How? I told it my 14 year old for 21 years. <laughs> no, you didn't. Your mama told no, you for nine months. No, nine. because men rejuvenate and make And the new... way you be acting, it probably was fine. Shut the fuck up. You probably came out a little early. <laughs> men get new sperm. Like, you continuously are making new sperm. We are the ones who've been carrying this egg our whole lives. We don't get no more new you eggs. You ain't carrying. Yeah. But ain't no, ain't no, life, want... in, ain't no life in the what egg is? until we put some, uh, in it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, to, we need each other. We need each other. There you go. We need each other. But still, the father better, the father plant the seed. Now, what, what are you going to do without nut? Nothing. <laughs> That's why they call it nut, because you ain't going to do nothing without a nigga. Well, moving on, I hope that they do something about this Tulsa race massacre. I don't know how we got from that to nothing. Because you hate black men. I love black men. Don't say that. They already think that in the comments, and that's not that's true. true. Y'all ain't wrong. That's, that's <laughs> not true. I support black men. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, speaking of support or lack thereof, Israel dropped hundreds of 2,000-pound bombs on, Ga on Gaza Damn. recently. In this first month of war it, it, in Gaza, Israel dropped hundreds of massive bombs, many of them capable of killing or wounding people more than 1,000 feet away. This type of destruction has never, has not been seen since the Vietnam War. So it's getting kind of bad, and I heard that it's expanding as well into other parts of the Middle East, which is like, really say what? We're going to war with the Chinamen. And we're going to lose. Just throwing it out there. They got more people, everybody in shape. Everybody in shape? Even, hell yeah. I, let, I bet one of their kids come in and whoop your ass right now. Seven, <laughs> year, seven years old. They whoop this whole motherfucking room. Mm. Till I pull out that Glock. See? <laughs> yeah. That black-owned Glock. Mm. That black people told. But yeah, we're going to war, man. Y'all, I just, I just want to know what's going to happen after we lose. Because we're going to lose. What is it like? How how does war work today? I think they gonna fuck with black people more than they like. You got me fucked up. You think so? Or fuck they gonna? No. We still gonna be bottom of the totem pole. I think that might give us leverage if we band together, like you were saying. No. We could we could finesse our way in a better relationship with Chinese people. No. Can we? Because no. I don't know. In the hood, they already don't. Be I don't know why y'all don't realize that. Don't nobody fuck with us. When it all boils down to it, they stick with they people. You think they're going to give us a, 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 a hall pass because we got them? Know how to they should because we've been oppressed just like y'all. Yes, because we can make sweet water cornbread. And I know you want the recipe, okay? And we've been oppressed just like y'all. We all people of color. We made all y'all asses. If you ask me, if you put every color on that grid together, what color does that make? Black. Okay. All right, go ahead. And on that note, we're going to go over to get some black history uh -huh. with Christery. Set it off. Set it off. Thank you, Bree. God damn. Can you, you ain't... Set it off. Set it off. I just had to let you know, when you hear somebody do that, ain't nothing fake about that. Apparently, AI technology is about to start doing podcasts right now. It's going to be a male voice and a female voice, and you can... Type in whatever you want to talk about it. There's going to be a discussion about it. I don't know nothing about that. Ain't nothing fake about these podcasts over here. You go to 85 South, ain't, ain't nothing fake about 85 South except them fans that don't be reposting and telling everybody how good it is. That's for damn show. But it's getting scary out here, you know. I just came outside of my house, you know, jumped in the car. I said, uh, Siri, how I get to the mall? <laughs> Siri said, I don't know. Once you ask that bitch Alexa, you've been in the house talking to her all day. I said, Siri. She said, you know what, Chris? Why don't you call me by my whole name? I was like, I, I thought it was just Siri. You see, is that Siri? I'm sorry, Siri. It's getting crazy out here, man. AI technology, who had you doing all type of stuff, man? You know, and I heard, I don't really know about this, but I heard that the preachers are getting in on this. The church is getting in on this AI technology. 
Apparently, somebody has a church that they're going to bring a hologram in of Jesus, but it's going to be 50% Jesus, 50% Tupac. So they're going to call it Third Passion of Christ. I don't really know where it's going to go, but I'm going, you feel me? Because I never see the black Jesus already, you feel me? Only time we get a black Jesus, y'all already know, is on that episode of Good Time. <laughs> and here it is. We can go to places and find out that it is one for real. I heard they call him Yahshua. <laughs> and they call him that in Israel. You ever notice that? That Israel sounds like Israel? Because it is real in Israel right now. Shit, if you don't believe me, you can look at any news. Do you know right now, look, this, this stuff is so much real time right now that we got to throw away the story from the other day because the news is constantly changing. Now, the other day, there was a strike on Israel from, they say, Hezbollah is from Iran, you know what I mean? Because right now, I don't even really want to say the mispronounce the wrong country, so let me just say this the right way. Israel right now is in a war with Lebanon right now. I don't know what's going on with Gaza. We ain't heard shit from Gaza in two weeks. Last time I heard, they had to get away from a little five-mile distance, and they was at the last hospital. I ain't heard shit from nobody from Gaza. You hear me? But... Now, there's a war going on with Lebanon, and since the war is in Lebanon, Lebanon sent over a couple of rockets, and they, hadn't, they weren't able to penetrate at first because they got the Iron Dome up there. When you hear that Iron Dome, that's how you know the United States ain't too far behind from that right there because they ain't getting through there. But there must have been a glitch in the matrix <laughs> because some rockets got through a couple of days ago, and um, yesterday, too, I heard. Then um, Israel went on a strike. They continued to do some more strikes, and now they're waiting on, uh, they are actually waiting on plans to see what they're going to do with the strikes coming from Iran now. The crazy part to me is, this morning, Netanyahu, I want to say his name right, Netanyahu, I don't even know how you spell it. Don't ask me how to spell it. I'm just saying it. Netanyahu had a meeting with Joe Biden. I forgot Joe Biden was the goddamn president. Do you hear me? We voting for a new one. I forgot who the president is right now. But in that meeting, I say you should have had somebody over there that was black that could have put it on FaceTime so we could see what's going on out here, you know. That's the latest that I heard in the news, though. I just want to speed y'all up on that. But right now, Israel was meeting with the United States at a meeting, seeing what they were going to do. So... That's all I had on that story. Moving right along to the next story in uh, Trap News. Uh, this is a place here where we don't just talk about the news. We talk about what's going on out here in the community with black people, you know? And we heard that, um, you know, I, I'm always working for the Lord, you know? And I'm not trying to make this about me, but apparently other people are working for the Lord. Boosie. Boosie is working for the Lord because there's a video, I think, of them baptizing him and his cousin. It was Boosie and his cousin, and they was baptizing, like, about 40 kids. And I said, whoa, now, hold on. I don't know if everybody's certified for this, but I don't judge nobody. You hear me? Because one thing I know is where them kids, mama and daddy? I don't know where everybody's mama and daddy at. I can't sign off on this. All I know, I just saw it. I saw everybody getting dipped in a water bed. I ain't know what it was. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was an magic something. I ain't know what it was, but they were getting dipped, and they were getting up, and they were saying, thank you, Jesus, I guess. Then I think I heard Boozy. Somebody, I don't know this for sure, but I think somebody heard Boozy say, hey, you never know. You might die tonight. I said, wait a minute. This ain't no way to be talking to the kids. But I was baptized before, so I'm not speaking about this like I don't know what it is, you know. I, was, I, I got baptized three times, actually. But the first time I got baptized, uh, you know, in Alabama, you, we get baptized inside, in, you know, in a, in a, we don't get baptized in the church. You know, most people get baptized in the church in their little jacuzzi. It's all good, you know. Might even have a little bubble baths in there, you know what I mean? But me, I got baptized the old school way in Alabama. I got baptized in a ditch, you know what I mean? You get baptized in a creek down south. You, you mess around and get snake bit. You see a water moccasin before you see Jesus down in the south. Am I lying, Justin? You read goddamn ridiculous. <laughs> said it all, said it all. But like I say, the first time I got baptized, I didn't know what was going on. I just know people was coming out the water and they were saying, thank you, Jesus. Everybody that came out the water was like, thank you, Jesus. Some of them came out scared like, thank you, Jesus. I said, oh my God, I didn't know what was going on because... You may go in the water for like two, three seconds, but God could be talking to you for 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? You get back out of there, you'd be like, whoa, thank you, Jesus. You know what I mean? So I didn't know what was going on. All I know is I was 13 years old, and the preacher got, you know, he squeezed my hand, squeezed my hand first. He was like, look, I'm going to dip you in the water, and I'm going to pull you up. You know why? Because you covered. 
and he threw me in the water, like, in the blood of Jesus. He threw me in the water, right? <laughs> he brought me back out. But when he brought me out the water, everybody was just looking at me, right? Like y'all looking at me right now. I was like, I ain't know what to say. And I just felt the preacher squeeze my man, squeeze my hand, he's squeezing the hell out of my finger, like, hey, boy, say thank you, Jesus. I said, Jesus ain't tell me nothing. <laughs> he said, boy, say thank you, Jesus. I ain't for the Lord Jesus. Put me back in the water. Let me hear what he said. He said, boy, you better quit showing out. You quit showing out and get a black Jesus in here. But <laughs> I was at New Right Baptist Church. If you don't know where that church is, that's in Alliceville, Alabama, Pickens County, Alabama. It's right across the street from the same prison that Kim Kardashian got that lady from. Set it off. And that ain't nothing but the Lord. I don't know what it is. Did you see how that lady ran out that field? Alice, y'all don't remember that? Pull up that footage of Kim Kardashian. Let that woman out of jail. That woman came by that motherfucking prison like, Lord, <laughs> y'all keep the blanket, keep the toothpaste, keep all that shit. I'm out of here. <laughs> Thankfully, thank God that she's out of there, you know. Shout out to Aliceville, Alabama. We are a town with some real historical purpose, man, you know. Maggie Bozeman from there. That's the first woman charged with voter fraud. Seems like we're in a political atmosphere right now anyway, but that's your section of Christory on Trap News Update. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank you, Chris, for that Christory lesson. Coming out of Chris... I knew something was wrong. I didn't have my glasses on today. Is that what it is? Yeah. I don't be myself. Go ahead. What the fuck was that? Unfortunately, Sissy Houston, the gospel singer and pop icon, she was a gospel singer? Whitney Houston's Damn. mom has passed away and she died at 91 years old. She lived a very long, a long life. life. Yes. Yeah, that's good. Uh, and she's um, the good part is that she will be reunited with obviously Whitney and Bobby Christina because she was like a primary caretaker for Bobby Christina after She'll Whitney's passing. She'll be reunited passing. with them in heaven. Oh, okay. Pastor, go ahead. Okay. Uh, this sissy died Monday morning at her New Jersey home while under hospice care for Alzheimer's disease. Damn. Yeah, that's hard too. And, and people, losing people to Alzheimer's is, is pretty hard because they be forgetting shit. They be. Uh, the first per- I, I'm dealing. We dealing with that. With my grandma now. That's the first time I ever even came in contact. But it ain't happening around me though. She still remember me. So, yeah. Cause you was worse. Hmm? So she. How, it's like how could I forget? Right. That's a good thing. Yeah. No, that get is on, good. Get on old people's nerves so they will always remember you. Okay. <laughs> Don't do that. My grandma cuss you clean the fuck out. And that means she love you. Yeah. If your grandma ain't talk crazy about you back then, she ain't like you like that. She yeah. had some nice shit to say. Only the girls, you know, the women, they talk to the women good. But uh, as a boy, like, no. if she didn't talk to you crazy, she ain't fuck with you. My grandma didn't spare nobody. I remember one time I came in the house on Thanksgiving with some red pants on. As soon as I walked in, she didn't say, hey, or none of that. She said, woo, what size are those pants? God damn. I was like, you rude ass bitch. God damn. <laughs> No, I'm just fine. She hate black men and her grandma. No, I don't hate nobody. <laughs> I just talk shit. Anyways, I love my grandma. Shout out to you, Granny. Anyways, uh, an Atlanta businessman was convicted uh, for defrauding former NBA player Dwight Howard and Chandler Parsons. Uh, the man's name is Calvin Darden Jr. He was convicted for his role in defrauding former NBA players <coughs> out of $8 million. He allegedly told them that they were going to purchase the Atlanta um, women's WNBA team, which is the Atlanta Dream. I mean, Dwight Howard shouldn't be mad. He like getting fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't the first time well, you got fucked. <laughs> looks like they sold him a dream, okay? Wait, what Won't be the last on? time you get fucked. Yeah. But whatever you do with your money and your ass is on you. Definitely whatever you do with your ass is on yep. you. Yep, and your money. You got to sit on it. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> mm. <laughs> Mm. And sometimes when you know it, we get a little dark. Yeah, I'm God. Yeah, we got like some, some of the shit got to get edited. Yeah, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, yeah, sometimes. Somebody gotta think about yeah. our future. Yeah, right, you know right, what bro. I mean? Yeah. Like, somebody gotta watch this shit and be like, nah, and be like, okay. let's take yeah, some, some of, of that shit out. out. Yeah, yeah, just for our own safety, mm-hmm. you know. But um, I fuck with Dwight Howard. Yeah, shout out to him. Well, in good news, um, California will be allowing eating, drinking, and smoking at Amsterdam-style cannabis cafes. So they just want to eat, drink, and smoke? They just added eating? Like, you could smoke 
You Who can the fuck it, wanna it, eat there? Well, it'll be like weed treats. It'll be like, like you know what I mean? That type of stuff. Or like weed coffee, infused coffee, or like edibles. Oh, okay. Like fresh pastries with weed in it and shit. I'm glad they got it. It say customers can already smoke. Bake. They need to they need to make vape illegal on the plane. I'm sorry. In, on in the, the airport plane? and in restaurants, it don't bother nobody. I that never, shit gonna blow I up never, in the motherfucking plane. I never heard somebody plane. be like, strawberry papaya, get that out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Watermelon ice, get the fuck out of here, pal. My child is right here. <laughs> never. It's, that's sad that, that you can't not, go. Like, we should be you... able to vape, dude. It's, it's, it don't stink. You can't. It ain't no secondhand smoke. I smoked it all. <laughs> <laughs> By the time it go out, that shit disappear, man. Like, let's, let's, let's. Come no, on, No, we trying to get you off of that shit for your health. No, we you just not. was talking about yeah, detoxing. We were... Come on, see? See? I'm three days sober. I want everybody to know that. Yeah, I haven't had any alcohol in three days. I'm so proud of you, but like I said, I don't want you to continue to swap out things to be addicted so, to. So, yeah, so when I get done with that, I'm going back to powder. <laughs> I got to keep the ball rolling, you know what I'm saying? I, I want to bring back them old comedians that used to do cocaine in the green room. Oh, my God. That's why it ain't fun no more. Everybody too cautious. I don't smoke, I don't drink, I don't... Shut up, nigga. Let's make some bad decisions and make some good memories. No. No, we don't need that. Nigga, I did not That's know John Witherspoon was... did a fucking interview. I did not know fucking Robin Harrison. Not Robin Harrison. Robin Williams was fuck a fucking powder head. Miss Doubtfire yeah, why was we... a coke head. Were uh, you surprised? But we, I still love him to this day. I'm For trying sure. to be loved by people who watch me 30 years from now. I can't have no vape-ass story. You can't. Yeah, I used to vape. You, yeah, you can't. Nah, you nigga, get off I did the all vape. the drugs. Nigga, I did shroom. Fucking Bree was in there heating up spoons. I was never there. Was I've lit. never done drugs with money bag. Off. No, the fuck we wasn't. We was tying off at all. I hold a belt for her. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is you talking like, about? Like, we need some stories First like of that. all, dare. Stay away from, <laughs> from drugs and niggas like this. Because I don't even... No. Their program is the reason why we junkies now. We wanted to know... Because they made that shit seem too cool. They made it seem too fucking cool. No, D, I, I when they saying that, I won't do drugs, I was in the bed like, oh, no, I'm not I'm not <laughs> You're just mate. I don't know about that, no. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah, 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 go ahead. Anyways, well, crackheads like you will be excited to go to these new um, eat bars and cafes in California. I'll be there. And you know what? Like you said about Amsterdam, how it was a front for the coke. It's, it's really for cocaine. That's probably what they're going to be doing in Cali as well. A lot of niggas had a lot of shit to say about Amsterdam down that had never been there. Mm. It's for powder. You go to a cafe, you can get a bag of powder. And it's some <laughs> of the purest shit that don't do. Not that I know. No, oh, okay. I'm just saying. Yeah, you might have been on. One of I those, might go. One of those trips. Um, anyways, let's send it over to Justin for We Got Damn We Got Damn Dickless. Appreciate that bag and brief. On today's episode of We Got Damn Dickless, we are in Floyd County, Georgia, where this some bitch thought it was a bright idea to Borrow, rent, or steal a fucking Home Depot truck and some tools and sell them to another motherfucker on the street. Man, play the clip. You ain't gonna believe this shit here. Doing at 5 o'clock, a Lithonia man is accused of selling a truck and equipment he rented from a Home Depot in Floyd County. Deputies arrested Kerry Howard. They say he rented a Ford flatbed truck and a 50-foot boom lift from the Home Depot on Hicks Drive there in Rome in July. They were valued at more than $70,000. Deputies say Howard sold the items for $10,000. Ain't that a bitch. Now, you done went and caught a fucking uh, uh, grand larceny, uh, a fucking felony is what it is. A grand felony is what it is. $70,000 worth of motherfucking equipment, and you went and stole it, and sold it for 10 You dumb country-ass nigga. You deserve every fucking uh, charge they give your ass behind it. And my thing is, I want to know who the fuck you even saw? No, 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 I don't. No, I don't. Because that's some bitch even dumber than you. And I know some niggas like that. Home Depot, if you want to know where your truck is, it's somewhere in, what you said, I thought you, your truck somewhere in Kanye is already prime down um, with everything took off of it. So you, it won't look like it, it won't look like it is. But how the fuck you going to drive a stolen flatbed around <laughs> Rockdale County? Uh, uh, what else is, uh, let me see, Rockdale is Kanye's. That was Floyd. Uh, what is it I throw you? What, what is that? The cow? What is it? Yeah, okay, you oh, even goddamn worse. 
Take your ass around, ride around that stolen ass flatbed if you want to and see when they put your ass in the goddamn slammer. I don't get, what in the fuck did you think was gonna happen when you took your stupid ass up there to get something else after you ain't returned what you got the first time? Hey, you got to be the dumbest motherfucker on this side of the motherfucking hemisphere. Again, I hope you get every motherfucking charge they can put on your ass for that stupid shit there. You make us look bad. Now, I can't go in Home Depot to um, bar shit because of you. <laughs> That has been my episode of Goddamn Ridiculous for today. Back at you, Bag and Brief. Yo, 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 yo. Thank you, Justin, for that Goddamn Ridiculous news. You know what else is um, a little ri ridiculous? ATL's plane train glitched at Atlanta's airport and it brought chaos for a lot of travelers. You know what I don't realize? Like, why people be so frazzled in our airport? It's like, just read the sign, get oh, on God. the. It ain't really it's so just... difficult. It's so, it's no And then they was probably going from terminal A to T. Like, nigga, just get off and walk. Like, it's, it's yeah, right there. Like, right. Look at the signs, yeah. and then you don't know your airport. I don't understand how people get lost in the airport. I hate that shit. Yeah. Where do I go? Back home, hopefully. <laughs> clearly, clearly you're stupid. Don't come, don't come here. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, the glitch occurred early um, last Monday with the impact lingering for hours until it was fixed around noon that day with the train out of commission. Many had to walk unexpectedly long stretches. Now, that's the hard part. Like, when the train not working and you got to walk, that you, but you shouldn't be getting lost. You should just be tired a little bit because... They got to do better with that app. You ever, you ever, you ever, like that Delta app with the airport, like you ever see on your app, it be like gate B16. Then you get to B16 and you like, damn, ain't nobody else. You get the last minute. Then you refresh it, it say gate T12. You like, what the fuck? It's like, it's needed to update sooner. Yeah, they need to do better with that. And then they don't even put your gate on when you put it in your wallet. They don't put your gate on your wallet. If you notice that, they don't put it in there. They, they don't need, be putting it on there. Yeah, they need to do something about it. Get off your phone, no, Bree. I'm actually pulling up a story. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Thank you. Let me do my job. Because um, something else that we got to do better about, they said in health news that a lot of toxic chemicals, like we've talked about in the food, but now it's even in the clothes, okay? Clothing and jewelry are containing jewelry? high, high yeah, that shit it's you wear. That's that shit. That shit you wear from the middle of the motherfucking mall okay. about to have your head fall off. I know off. we ain't, that's that motherfucker. This real, baby. I know, it real. This real, listen, baby. Listen, uh, uh, 14 that's that motherfucker you get to looking in that goddamn cabinet, you be like, down two, go no, down two. No, this to not right. it. Straight from the jewelry. <laughs> All my jewelry, I can my take a shot. My shit from the jeweler, crazy. No, okay. We'll say, nigga. Hell, you, hell, you ain't even Indian, nigga. What the fuck is you talking that's, about? That's it's a house in my hand. Anyways, yeah, I can get in the shower with all my jewelry. Me jury. too. The fuck in the pool, whatever. Okay. Well, man, that's why we doing it. Yeah, you feel me? Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, anyway, that fake shit got y'all fucked up. Basically, it has um, a lot of toxic levels of chemicals in there, including, especially in the pants, like all the workout clothes. In the booty part? All of that. And um, they say a lot of fast fashion brands like Fashion Nova, the Shein's, the T-Moves, they being made with oh, these chemicals. Oh, they call it Shein? Is Shein? It's not... Some people call it Shein. It's really Shein, though. Okay. But um, the chemicals are formaldehyde and phthalate. Formaldehyde? Yeah. That, that, they put that in uh, milk, don't No. I just made that up. And fa well, how do you say that word? Phthalates. Yep. Salivates. I mean, it, it sounds about right to me. I don't know, but anyways, they said that really to combat this, the only thing you can do is Be wear... Be naked. No. It's wear cotton wool. I'm thinking about opening up a club for a new club, but no niggas welcome. That's a strip club. N but no niggas welcome. Jimmy. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna keep the like, club Like, can you open? imagine if it was a club, nigga, that are like, hey, hey, <laughs> you come here a lot? What my hug? <laughs> Let's just cut the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You, you know you want to see. Nobody's gonna come to the club. All right, I'll try that bet. Cause people be going. They finna go on a new cruise. I'm thinking about going on that motherfucker, man. But it's just too many white people. Too freaky. I'm not freaky. I'm 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 open minded. Like the women say, they open minded. Uh, you need to relax. Sit your diddy ass down somewhere. <laughs> I will not associate with diddy. I'm new school. I Ooh, use KY. It'd be a it'd be a thousand bottles of KY in my shit. Okay, anyways. Ten year old boy steals a car and drives through a playground like a fucking idiot. Where's his father? Where's his mother? Mm -hmm. It was in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I remember I had an African pronounce this one time. And then no disrespect to my African, but I used to work with that nigga. Somebody called him. I was like, who called you, bro? He was like, it's somebody from uh Minneapolis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
in at that police. Minneapolis. A ten-year-old boy was taken into custody after he drove a stolen vehicle across the crowded school playground. According to the police department, this is at least his third arrest. Mm -hmm. And he is a suspect in a dozen cases. Yeah. Damn! Ranging. Ranging from auto theft to robbery to assault with a dangerous weapon. Who the fuck is this nigga? It sounds like one of your kids. Let's take a look at the clip. They got a video on this nigga? Yes. <laughs> it sounds like one of my I just want to do stuff with my friends. It's an ass nigga, yeah, for sure. That ain't me. Surveillance video caught it all at Nellie Stone Johnson School. The car just drives across the grass. Then this, it approaches the playground as a child quickly stops to keep from getting hit. Police say the alleged driver was a 10-year-old boy. This is a case, as there are others, uh, you know, where parents need help. You know, it's, it's not an issue of, of parents being neglectful. Minneapolis Police Chief Brian O'Hara says they've arrested the boy at least two times before in other incidents. His history with police spans back nearly 18 months. This boy is also listed as a suspect in more than 12 cases that range from auto theft to robbery to assault with a dangerous, deadly weapon. The remaining entries are mostly related to runaway type cases. O'Hara believes the system has failed this 10 year old. This is a situation where a mother uh, who I believe is a good parent has been asking the system for help and the system has been failing her and failing her child. Cut the tape. Cut the tape. Oh, they need to put this little motherfucker in a psych ward because they said that not only has he done all these other heinous crimes, but he walked up to inject the woman from um, the kid that he stole and said, I'll gut you while holding a knife. This is the making of a Jeffrey Dahmer ass Is he thinking. Mexican? I don't know what That's the fuck he is. That's Mexican shit to say. I got you, Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't hear no black nigga be like, I got you. <laughs> I got you, fool. You on my third, man? <laughs> he got to be amigo. That's crazy. What's Whatever he is, he needs to be in a motherfucking psych ward, okay? They ain't say his name? No. Fernandez. No. I think because he's a child, they have to protect his identity. Either way it go, he ain't... We need protection from that motherfucker. Soul. I got you, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you say to me, nigga? <laughs> hey, man, go ahead on that shit, man. Hey, she, well, she got out the car and turned it over. Um... Yeah, we're going to be praying for that family. Anyways, we also are going to be praying for those that are being affected during the hurricanes. You know, it's Hurricane Milton is, is suspected or expected to touch down in Tampa this mm. week. And it's supposedly <laughs> the greatest hurricane like we've ever it's seen. For real? Yes, they said Damn. that it's um, 8.9 in category. And even to the point that they're thinking about adding a whole new category of nine. Like, making Damn. a new nine. We've never had a nine-category hurricane, but... Um, crazy. It's really bad. They are encouraging everyone in Tampa to evacuate because the eye of the storm is supposed to go straight through Tampa. It's going to be major floods. And even Tampa's mayor took to a press release and was like, if you stay here, you will die. I seen that. Yeah, so be... Man, we get sending, the fuck out of there, man. We sending love. I'm we hope y'all evacuate. We understand that it's tough. Mine. If your job tripping... Fuck that job. Your Fuck life is that job. yeah. Your life is more important, and it's some ways that you can um, prepare, you know, for hurricane season because other areas surrounding Tampa, you know, obviously will be affected as well. That you might not necessarily have to evacuate, but you need to check with your locals to know if you de you do need to evacuate or not. But if in case, make a plan. You know what I mean. Figure out where you going. Gas up the cars. Do all that. Secure the exterior of your property. Did you see that man who had like tie his house down in Tampa? Yeah. Yeah. He tried. I don't know if that's man. gonna work. But Get that your weird ass. That was not smart. That was stupid. <laughs> you trying to save something you can buy again. You can't buy your life again. Get the fuck up out of there. You right. Get up out of there now. Um, move your cars. I think the cars is a wrap because they said the water is supposed to get to like 15 feet. And that's crazy because at six feet, your car is gone anyway. It's, it's a dub. Yeah. So just like you said, take what's most valuable and get the fuck you know, up out why, of there. Why you ain't tie your car on top of your house if you had that much sense? <laughs> Country-ass, man. 15, <laughs> like, why you worried about the house? It's a dub, bro. That little bit of ass flat, that shit was... Make sure y'all insurance up to date, too. Hell That's why yeah. you got to keep the insurance up to date. All them apartments and shit. And then, what what else would you do to prepare for the, for the storm? I would go to California or Amsterdam, and I would do powder. 
That's what I want. Okay. Okay. E even if you didn't have to, like, what if you were in a surrounding area where you don't have to evacuate? I, mean, I would have left, dog. I, I be, <clears throat> I'm really thinking about every time shit like this happens, I be thinking about the homeless people down there. Yeah, that's so sad. Like, y'all ain't got no car. Some are refusing because they live on boats and parks and trees. Well, you know what? Stay there. If you, you're not gonna see this anyway. What do they think this is? Noah's Ark? Get the fuck up out of there. Get the fuck out of there. Get out of there. And I, I'm calling the weed man first because I'm gonna need some weed for this long ass ride we about to take to elsewhere. That's why I'm stuck with the. I don't know where the fuck we're going, but we gotta get the fuck up out of here and we need weed to get us there, okay? This guy, fucking junkie. Well, you the one talking about going to California for the coke. But no, I said going to California. I'm getting the fuck out of there. I'm going somewhere to be. I'm gonna get the fuck out of there too, but I need weed you for said, the ride. I'm gonna call my weed man and first. Stop like, like, he ain't got no fucking family and people to take care of and get If he's smart, he capitalizing on the opportunity and he know we need to read. Where they going? It's a lot of them coming to Atlanta. I know, like, like, you know, yeah, yeah, that's gonna be. Yeah, it is. Well, no, but Tampa kind of, isn't that like more of a white city? Hell no, it's niggas down Well, it is, but it's niggas down there. Okay, well, come to Atlanta. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Atlanta is planning to transform the historical mall to West End on the West Side. Well, it is kind of... I'm glad they're doing something about that. You are? You are? Because I'm, I'm nervous that it's going to turn into a gentrification type of situation because um, they are planning to put a 12-acre site into affordable housing development and commercial space. And you know, anytime they got the little Starbucks at the bottom on other apartments, it get high. You... It's, Three thousand dollars for a two bedroom. You feel me? Like it'd be crazy, but they, they need did. They gonna do something with the West End. That shit has just been there. Like ain't. It ain't nothing there but American Devil. Yeah, right. That shit don't even pop out. You they in the should. Barbershop. You right. The barbershop. American. They should let American Devil come back and be at the bottom on the commercial space of the apartments. I agree. I feel like that should be negotiated. Yeah. yeah. And I need a cut. Anyways, uh, Mayor Andre Dickens says that this is a long-awaited new era for the West End, that this is not just a redevelopment for the West End Mall, but it's fulfilling a commitment to the community. So I, I think it will look better, though. And it's right there by the AU Center, so maybe they can have affordable housing for the, the students at the HBCUs like Clark. It's like literally, if you're not in Atlanta, it's like right down the street from Clark, Spellman, Morehouse. Wow. So, yeah. <clears throat> That's coming, you know, they're gonna, I think they really trying to do all this shit to prepare us for, and we getting like FIFA? World Cup. The World Cup. See, I be knowing, I be knowing sports. Okay. Nav, I'm coming for you. Anyways, um, the residents of the Atlanta Marriott Marquis Hotel were stunned this weekend as a man jumped from the 40th floor. Shit! To his death. According to the reports, the unidentified man jumped from the 40th floor of the 47th story Edifice, which rank, which is ranked as the 15th tallest skyscraper in Atlanta. Do you know what the first is? <clears throat> nope. Me neither. I think it's SunTrust. <laughs> Ain't it SunTrust? Uh, Bank of America. It's either or. Either one SunTrust of them or Bank of yeah. Is uh, that the one with the look? Uh, no. no. Is it this one? Is it that one? Uh, I think it's that one. No, you know, you know a nigga just drew that. This is Atlanta. <laughs> but that is not Atlanta. This is Atlanta. <laughs> this is not Atlanta. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is Atlanta. This is Atlanta coming down 75, 85. Fuck no. This when you leave at 85 South going north. Okay. That's what this skyline view is. Okay, so what this does do? The other one. I don't fucking know. Walk that, around knowing the names of the buildings. That's a Glock clip. <laughs> <laughs> extendo. That's an extendo. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Well, um, it's unclear, unclear why this man um, actually committed suicide, but we will be sending our prayers out to the families and people who witnessed that or got to work there. That's, That's kind of traumatic. That's crazy, bro. You can't be doing shit like that in <clears throat> Atlanta. I mean, I don't think you should be doing it nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> why is y'all laughing? See, then everybody go, when, they, when this shit hit the internet, they're going to be like, eh, eh, eh. Hey, everybody all sensitive. I hate that though. You know what? But but okay. No, I don't like how they be so sensitive. It's like y'all know what the fuck y'all watching. We just talking shit. Trap news, fuck nigga. Trap, trap news. news. Come on, man. And if you don't want to get the news in front of the trap, get then get the fuck on. Yeah, okay. We ain't begging. We ain't begging. For you to fuck with us now. You fuck oh, with God. the winning team or not? <laughs> okay. Dope soul, money fold. You feel me? Now, also, twin. I was watching like the tape. You know, I be reviewing tape like we this this series. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. How we can elevate. And I just feel like sometimes we do be talking over each other a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mainly you. Like you'll yeah, I'll be talking over you. Yeah, you'll be cutting yeah. me off. I think we could work on it. Yeah. Can we work yeah, on it? Yeah, we that? can work on you shutting the fuck up more. <laughs>
Because you do all the talking. That's what's wrong with women. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? When I, when I put my input in, you know what I'm saying? That's what I you, tie the shit together. We, we, we will work on sharing. Okay, we need like one of them little buttons. Like, I need a little, I need, the, I need one of them little Jeopardy buttons. Or we have a pillow. I got the pillow, so I it's ain't my. I no motherfucking pillow, man. Nigga just died in Atlanta, man. We ain't gonna take that story softly, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Do that shit downtown. Oh, <clears throat> on Okay. Tweak. Um, Best speak, nigga. Well, speaking about. Free R. Kelly, nigga. What? Free R. Kelly, nigga. You don't feel R. Kelly? I don't support that message. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Um, but anyway, some of these views, we need a disclaimer, too. These views are not of anyone in particular, mm -hmm. okay? okay? We just saying shit. All right, all right. Don't take none of this serious. Right. Let it roll off your back. Take it serious. No, okay. Anyways, um, speaking of taking serious, they took the dock workers serious. Remember I was telling you last week that they, they were having a strike? Mm -hmm. They actually, the strike has now suspended, thank God, because that was going to mess up the grocery stores, our goods, and all that. I, I educated you that on, on that last week. But a tentative agreement has been reached, so the historic United States port strike has suspended, and the agreement has been reached on wages with a 62% increase Damn. in wages. Yes, for six years. Good for them. Hell yeah. That's what we need to do. We need all to get together and just stop paying bills. What are they going to do? You're right. Cut the shit off, but... Fuck it. Cut it off. <laughs> We're going to be no, in I'm this mission in the dark. Uh, I'm talking about even the people who work for the power company. Stop coming to work. Fuck it. Because who going to cut it off if y'all not there to cut it off? Hello. I see where you're going. Okay, I see where you're going. Because it's going to benefit y'all bills, too. Y'all know they raping us. Come on. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you can't say that word. Y'all know they getting over on us. I'm saying bills is high. Like, they, we need to band together for that shit. They ain't rape high, though, damn. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Anyways, they went from making $39 an hour. Yeah, I'll switch that shit up to go ahead. Wait, they, they went from making $39 an hour to now $63 an hour. That's a pretty huge jump. Mm -hmm. I like that for them. Um, good, good, good for y'all, man. Yeah, that's some good news. Speaking of good news, our homegirl Pretty V has dropped a new book. Yes, I love it. And it's right in her lane as well. The book is titled The Pretty Victory, A 100-Day Guide to Recenter Yourself and Find Your Purpose. Because, you know, she is a... What they call it when you, she got a degree for um, completing her... Mid, what is it? Midterm? No, not midterm. I was about to say missionary, but not missionary. Okay. Ministry. Okay. Ministry. Ministry. Okay. Is that it? When you become a pastor? She a, she a, she a minister? Or she got like a doctorate from one of them schools that make to you preach? an honorary degree. So she <laughs> she preaching now? No, she not preaching now, but she got an honorary degree from one of them schools that make you a pastor. Oh, okay. If that makes sense. Anyways, the multi-talented comedian, actress, and philanthropist have crafted out a captivating and unique devotional. She's blending her humor, sincerity, and relatability to make the path to spiritual enlightenment accessible and engaging for everyone. So y'all go grab that. It is available for pre-order on Amazon now. What's what's up? You got, you got anything you want to announce? Um... Yeah, I'll be at uh, Atlanta Comedy Theater November 10th, headlining that motherfucker, man. Y'all pull up, working on new material, trying That's to got them drop me a special. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. No, you are dropping a special. We don't try to do shit I'm over drop here. Me a special. We do shit. I'm going to drop me a special and upcoming tour dates, Birmingham and South Haven, Mississippi. And that's for the big, not big business. Yeah, that's for the uh, yeah, big business. It is big business. Yes, ma'am. Okay. October 12th, they will be in Birmingham, Alabama. October 13th, South Haven, baby. Mississippi, Memphis, let them tell it. They coming out there, they going to rock that motherfucker. Shreveport. South Haven, Mississippi is Memphis, next, to, next door to it's Memphis? It's not going to be Shreveport. It's going to be Bozier. That is Shreveport. That is, kid. yeah, Bajier is yeah, like Bajier. Shreveport. That's Shreveport, October 19th. October 19th. And then Houston, H Town. Texas, coming down. Don't talk about That's October going down. 20th, baby. October 20th. October 20th. That boy Justin got a phone posit jacket on. They got some. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga dressed like a deck of cards, huh? Yes, my boy oh. Justin Whitehead dropping his motherfucking special nigga. It's entitled Incredulous. What are you talking about? What? Remember, I, wait, I taught you what incredulous means last yes, week. What you did, did it mean? It Do you means remember? It being great. Pop quiz. Being great and ex expecting Justin to take that fucking jacket off. <laughs> what is it about? I mean, what is it? What is so it? crazy, your eyes can't believe it. Right. 
That's a great fucking name for a special, my nigga. Shout it out is. To you. It is. Proud of you, my nigga. You and old thinking ass nigga. Oh God. The old dictionary the oh, source God. ass nigga. Oh God. Okay, Incredible. Like Incredible issues. How you say? Incredulous. Okay. Yeah. Might learn you some. Okay. Well, shout out to y'all for these specials, man. That's Hell a big yeah. thing. You know what I'm saying? I support black men. No, you only the Woo! niggas you know. Why I gotta support all niggas? I can't just can't vouch for them niggas. I can only vouch you for y'all. And though. I barely can vouch for these niggas okay. sometimes, okay? It depends on what they doing. Now, if it's you and kids and drugs, I can't vouch for you. But you being funny, you a funny motherfucker. You can watch this special. I'll have you know that I am a great father and I take care of my kids sometimes. Sometimes. I'm about to say, I have seen you with them sometimes. <laughs> he made sure they had a piece of pizza. The money, though, you know. Okay, all well, right. that's another debate for another day. All right. Um, I think that's all the news we that's got it. in the trap, if all hearts and minds are clear. Yes, ma'am. That's been Trap News. I'm Bree Renee, straight from the A. And it's your boy, Moneybag Mafia, Mr. I don't fuck with niggas. I should wear a swastika. sticker. <laughs> I also don't support that message because that was hard me. though. It is. It was. And I'll be coming up with this shit. You was thinking dome. too. You Come was on, thinking. Now. You was thinking. Die I saw it. what you was doing. Incredible issues. <laughs> Channel 85 out. Yeah. Trap news. Trap.